Hello guys and gals, welcome uh, to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be taking a look at Arida's Inexorable Will. This is a ring that was added uh, from the Season of Malignant. It wasn't added in the Season of Malignant. The season, this was a power from the Season of Malignant, and then they added it as a ring later because people really enjoyed it. Um, and uh, it has gotten some updates in 1.50. We're going to be going over those right now. Uh, so first off, it is a ring that you can get from Varshan. Varshan is the malignant boss, and so it's always going to fall specifically from him. Um, that is the malignant hearts now, so if you need to farm him, you're definitely going to want to grab the malignant hearts and head on over to the Whispering Tree. Um, and you'll notice that right next to the Tree of Whispers is this little place called the Malignant Burrow, and that's where you're going to go fight Varshan. Uh, the tormented version is going to have a much better chance of giving you greater affixes, by the way. I, now, I don't have a 925 version, I just have a regular version here, but it's still pretty effective. The bonus willpower on this is 9 to 11%, which is really friggin' nice. And uh, obviously, since the character scales based on willpower, you're going to get a lot of willpower out of this particular item. Just putting it on, you can see I'm at 1527, and I go to 1524, because of course I have 102 willpower on this item. Uh, let's do the Ring of the Starless, because the Ring of the Starless doesn't have any willpower. So 1527 uh, to 1653, a pretty nice little bump there for just equipping an item. And of course, since it's a percentage-based increase, the more you have, the more it's going to give you. And uh, it will eventually outperform even that 102 that's on the ring right now, by far. Uh, it also has a lucky hit bonus. I believe it's 8%, which greater rat fixes to 12, which is definitely very nice for a lot of builds. 103.5 to 135% damage to close, which will be very effective at getting you that multiplier for your Thunderstruck passive, um, which is right here. And that Storm Skills deal increased damage equal to 20% of your damage versus close or damage versus distant bonuses up to a 60% times. So in this particular case, it's going to give us a nice little bump to that percentage and get us closer to hitting the 60% multiplier, uh, which you definitely want to do. On top of this, it also gives us up to a 20% reduction to our ultimate skills. Doesn't care which one. You could be using Cataclysm, you could be using uh, Petrify, or you could be using the uh, Grizzly one. Uh, any of them work, and uh, being able to spam them is definitely nice. The new Majoldic Ring actually kind of synergizes very well with this because it focuses on trying to keep your ultimate active at all times. And so if you use the Eridaz er Inexorable Will in combination with the Majoldic Ring and you focus on trying to get your cooldown of your, say, Cataclysm to its bare minimum, um, you could potentially keep the pull-in effect on this active 100% of the time, which is pretty neat. And it says when, when casting an ultimate skill, and again, five seconds after, you pull in distant enemies and deal up to 7,858 physical damage to them. This damage is increased by 1% per one point of willpower that you currently have. And since I'm at 1,527 willpower, it is currently at 1,527% increased damage. Now, I can't really show this in the training room, so we're going to have to go outside the training room. Um, let me actually put my uh, materials on so that I don't die with my naked man chest standing, uh, showing. And um, we're going to play around with how this works. There are some funny quirks to this particular ring, and uh, some of them are involved in basically how the pull-in actually occurs. Um, one of them has to do with the fact that it can pull in things even while you're on your mount, which is really silly. Um, and I'm going to see if I can show you that one. So I'm going to dismount first. We're going to use our Cataclysm. Then I'm going to remount on my horse. And you'll notice that monsters will actually get pulled in toward me. And of course, Cataclysm is killing everything because these monsters suck. Mr. Goody Two Shoes, Mr. Goody Two Shoes! Ginger Evil Mentor here. Why bother farming when you can go to MMOEXP.com and simply purchase your items in gold? GGM would have you farm the items, what a pathetic being. Use code GEM, Ginger Evil Mentor, for 6% off your entire purchase. And don't tell Ginger Gaming Mentor that I was here. This character is not set up properly anymore at all, unfortunately. I wonder if the horse thing actually even still works. They might have patched it out. It was really funny when the, when, the, when it first came out, because the um, the ability to pull in monsters from really far away was hilarious. Oh, some free living steel. Don't mind if I do. I must wait a moment. 
So let's go ahead and wait for the cooldown, and we're gonna do it again. So one, two, buckle my shoe. Yeah, everything is just dying. That's the problem. That guy got pulled in. Might be better if I used Petrify. Obviously, the pull-in is going to be a lot more effective when you're fighting monsters that are not garbage, like I'm currently fighting. And just... They're basically just all dying before they have a chance to get pulled in, which is fine, because, you know, they're still dead. So, there's that. Um, the only real issue with this ring is that it does take up the spot of another maybe better ring. And there's a lot of good rings this season. Like, obviously, Ring of Silent Skies is amazing. Uh, oh, thanks for the subscription, Thomas. Um, uh, the Ring of the Silent Skies is amazing. The Majolnik ring is amazing. Um, there's a lot of very good options that you can potentially put in this place. Yeah, two subscribers. Love you, John. And so you end up with an issue where you might not just be able to fit this in just simply because there's other good options to put in this place. But if you are focusing on, say, like permanent uptime for Cataclysm, having the ability to pull in monsters certainly isn't like a terrible thing to have. And um, obviously it works against the distant monsters that are far enough away. I'm trying to see if I can actually pull anything in, but most of the time it's just murdering them horribly and painfully. It's just murdering them horribly and painfully. It would really help if I had this character set up properly, but he's uh, unfortunately I've pretty much gutted him at this point for making all these videos for you guys, which is something I'm gonna have to undo eventually. Mm. Now, like I told you at the beginning, if you are looking for this item, you can pick this item up at uh, Varshan. So I go to Varshan, and um, it is pretty easy to find this ring if you're on a druid. Killing Varshan is not really the most difficult thing in the world. Um, and if you do the Tormented version, you might have a chance of getting one of these beautiful Mythic Uniques along with a Greater Affix version of the Aradaz if you're looking for it. Now, if you were looking for Greater Affixes on this, obviously the Ultimate Cooldown would be really nice to have with a Greater Affix on it because this is focused around, obviously, using your Ultimate Skill and getting that pull in. Uh, on top of that, the uh, Willpower bonus would be really nice to have a Greater Affix on as well because that percentage can get absolutely insane. And if you're not really trying to get a large amount of damage to close or damage to distant for scaling your Thunderstruck passive, having the greater affix on that could also potentially help you hit that, uh, you know, like 60% times on your Thunderstruck passive easier. So all in all, it's not a bad ring. It's actually a pretty decent ring. Um, did I read the flavor text? Yes. When I was born, I breathed in the wind and the storm... And they gave me life. When I die, I will breathe out and return that gift to the skies. A journal excerpt. Why did I read that wrong? When I was born, I breathed in the wind and the storm, and they gave me life. There's just way too many ands there. The wind and storm. Uh, and, and storm. Not wind in the storm. It would just be wind and storm. Like, you know, you would like almost combine it into one word, right? That'd be better. I'm stupid. Shush. Okay, shush. <laughs> anyway as always i do appreciate you guys and girls joining me for these videos even when we're just going over one of the older malignant rings and as always keep watching